Today I'm on my way to go see a documentary called Eating Animals and I'm nervous to see it because is it going to scare me away from eating meat because I like a good hamburger. The woman that just took my ticket said, oh, are you sure you want to see that? <laughs> Thankfully, this was a lot more Temple Grandin than it was Faces of Death because I don't even think I could have handled that, especially after the first purge. Really interesting documentary. Academy Award winning actress Natalie Portman is the narrator and producer on this film. And I think they did a really good job of showcasing the differences between factory farming and mass production and slaughter of animals and then the smaller organic grass fed boutique -y kind of farmer looking out for the well-being of the animal and the consumer and not injecting them with crazy hormones and all of this crazy stuff that makes them larger and maims them in order just for mass production and it really was really interesting here's the problem that I had with it it showcased both sides of the argument so that was really great but the problem was there was no real solution basically it was just suggesting that plants should inevitably replace me to be very honest, I think it's fine to eat animals. I think that that sounded really gross. I love my dog, I promise. I just felt like, I don't want to say propaganda because that's a really strong word and it's got a negative connotation to it, but I would say there was no real solution other than don't eat meat. We can argue all day long about whether you should be a vegetarian or a vegan or you should be a meat-eating human being. I mean, have your arguments in the comments below. I'm just saying, okay, fine. So if you're not going to be a vegan and you're not going to be a vegetarian and you still want to eat meat, what is the best way to do that? How do you support these farmers that are producing organic grass-fed solutions. On a cami scale from 1 to 100, I give this film an 82. The footage was great. Natalie Portman's voice in the background as the narrator was great. It was very slanted, though it did shine a light on, I think, a very important problem in our country and around the world. Thank you so much for watching One Movie Every Day 365 Days with my movie pass, even with documentaries that are kind of weird and don't have a great solution. I'll see you tomorrow. <coughs>